Oh, no, 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 no! Hey, lovely people! Welcome back to another episode in my single-player survival world. I'm Dee, I am new to video games, and I am currently working on making a village fortified so that I can, you know, keep villagers that have trades. This is going to be a bit of a buildy episode, I think, um, just with what I am motivated to do right now. Um, yeah, so we've got a few more villagers wandering around. Not too many yet, but we've got a Fletcher and a Farmer. And do we have anything we can trade with him right now? He does carrots. So that's super helpful. Anyways, um, I need to start by marking out where I'm moving houses to. Um, I have a list of like what op occupations are going in what area. So I'll be right back. Okay, I have things marked out. I have no idea if this is going to be even close to finish this episode, but we're gonna give it a shot. Um, behind me is where we're going to move our farmers to. Um, I'm hoping to have at least three of them, I think. Um, but they're gonna live back there and we'll bring water into the village via that area as well. Um, but yeah, the builds for this village are gonna be small and cute hopefully anyways um nothing super fancy and hopefully quick to throw up so let's get going you guys we have a small child who seems to have claimed a bed in the farmer's house as his own yes when he grows up he shall be a farmer big and strong as well hopefully <laughs> they're so cute and so weird and i love them all right, we need to light this area up. All right, that's one. And then we'll need just a little bit of... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um... Let's see, because we're going to have our water system coming in here. Actually, I should take this tree down. So that will obviously be lit up already. We've got light along the fence back here. And we should... We should hang a lantern outside the door. Um, I'm kind of thinking... Let's actually put it on the ground. I think that looks cute. And then for the moment, we'll stick a couple torches over here. Just keep that all lit up. Maybe we'll put a couple of torches on the ground where they've been jumping. I think this area needs something. I'm not sure what yet. Maybe, ooh, maybe a chicken coop. Because our butcher and shepherd are going to live in the middle of town. But a chicken coop over here could be good. I like that. All right, well, this area is looking great. I suppose it's going to be on to the next. I don't know what the next is going to be, though. Actually, let's take down some of these hay bales. And move them elsewhere. I don't think we're going to have nearly as many hay bales around the town anyways. But maybe just a couple of these could like, look good somewhere. The one thing we have to make sure we don't do is give them anywhere where they can climb over the fence. Oh, hello, little sir. And that adds a little bit more something, I think. All right, I think it's time to put in a smithy on this side of town. Oh, no, 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 we successfully have three farmers, and I think they all live in the same house. Head across town. Head across town. There's there's job sites over there for you, sir. The baby lives in the house, therefore the baby becomes a farmer. Go on. Go on. Shoo. Shoo. Go. Don't stop looking at me like that. 
Are you a leather worker now, sir? Yes, you are. Well, um, oh, because I put, I put these guys over here. That's, mm, I already had sets of these. All right, if I break this, will you go over to the smith? To the smithy? Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but villagers can't share uh, uh, workspaces, workstations, right? Because I am so sure that I only have one smoker in this town, and yet suddenly I have two butchers. Same thing with the looms. I have guys who keep coming and, like, claiming these as jobs instead of going to, you know, the new job sites that are available. Is is there a child in here? There is! Okay. Is that his home, then? Because... Uh... Why are villagers always hard? No matter what. Okay, as far as the smithy goes, this is our setup. So we have the job stations for the leather worker, the toolsmith, the weaponsmith, and the armorer in here, as well as, you know, lava and water. Dude, can you please not sleep in those beds? Those beds are not for you. Um, there are... We only have beds in here, pretty much. Um, there are three beds. I honestly, I don't know what to do with interior decorating for villager houses. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. Let me know. Okay, so these guys seem to be replacing all of the carrots with wheat, which is really interesting because they eat carrots. So can they not replant carrots? Can they only, like, trade and eat them? Because I'm a little bit worried about, like, you know, their carrot supply ending because they can't freaking replant the carrots. Like, this entire row was carrots. And now it is completely wheat. Oh, there's one carrot in here. Wait, are you the child? You're the child. Yes, I do. I do have a job for you. Yes, I do. There you go. Yes! Now all the farmers should live in one house. Very good, very good. All right, well, that took an insane amount of time. My goodness, I just kind of, like, checked out of the world for basically an entire day to build this up. But it's done now. Well, almost done. We have a few little details, and we definitely have some bed sorting to do. So now it's time to actually deal with the villagers themselves. Okay, first things first, we're going to... Oh, my gosh. Did you dumb dudes walk over this pumpkin? Oh my, oh my gosh. All right, come on, everybody out. Everybody out, come on, let's go. Let's try to keep the chicken in here. Good, good. Okay, that pumpkin is gonna need to go. No more, no more walking into the chicken pen, you guys. Okay, I have three farmers. And I've only traded with one of them. Hello, good sir. You trade for potatoes. I have many potatoes. What about you? Okay, we've traded. Well, let me give you some carrots, sir. Awesome, awesome. 
And you take beets. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. Oh, are you another guy? Oh, wait, 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 wait. How many? Okay. Am I crazy? Or are they sharing job sites? I thought that didn't happen. I thought that wasn't a thing that could... Oh my gosh. It's interesting that they have replanted all the wheat, but not carrots that's interesting anyways let's go find our fletcher who lives in this house here hello sir hello okay um that's not what i want i want a stick trade and i think or 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 a feather trade either either or works for me whatever um all right you try that again sir can I? No, nope, no, nope, that's not what I want. Ooh, okay, sticks, good. Um, I'm not sure if they can trade feathers. I thought they could, but we'll just re-roll this a few times. See what we get. Okay, looks like sticks are our thing then. Okay, Mr. Fletcher, sir. Where are you? There you are. Okay, that's all we got then. There. Oh, another shepherd. Oh my gosh. Okay. Guys, 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 guys. We need to... We need to stop doing this. The sheep is going to leave and you guys aren't. Oh my gosh. Alright, sheeps, stay back. There. They must have walked over this somehow into the sheep pen. Hopefully. Okay, Mr. Mason, you are who we need to see. Block of quartz. How many blocks of quartz can we get from you? 27. Well, okay, we start with 12 then. Fine, fine. Mr. Farmer. Who's the Mr. Farmer who trades wheat? One of you guys traded wheat. Oh my gosh, there's so many. This is terrifying. I have wheat. Who wants to take my wheat? Okay. They are beginning to go to bed. Some of them are being stubborn and not going anywhere. So that's that's great. All right. Let's take a look. Ah, there's so many kitties. I need I need I need I need kitties. All right. We have one, two, three farmers sleeping in this house. Awesome. So this is supposed to be our cartographer's house, you know, out by the docks. And we have a farmer and a fisherman. I would like to get the fisherman, actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to break the bed that this, er, this fisherman is sleeping in. Hey, my dude. You want a bed? All right, all right. Come, come with me. A bed? A bed? Yes? Yes? Okay. Awesome. A bed? Ooh, yes, yes. And on you go. Awesome. Okay, there is another fisherman. Oh, I need to... I still need to add some slabs there. There's another fisherman, and I'm not sure where he is sleeping at the moment. We should have a Fletcher sleeping there. There are just villagers that are missing. What the heck? No, librarian. No, 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 no. You have... Okay, there's a farmer sleeping in there. Dude. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, they are trying to get into the town. <gasps> no. How did... I don't have much armor on, but... How did you even... No. Get him. Good. How did that happen? Oh my gosh. How? We might have to like post a couple of iron golems on the docks. Mr. Fletcher, sir. Ah, yes. Hello. If you head into your house, you might find that there's also a nice bed there that you could potentially claim. If no one else has claimed it, let's uh double check on that real quick. Yeah. There you go. A nice house with a fresh bed all for you. 
Yay. Okay, Mr. Cartographer, we are going to follow this man. We cannot let him get away. Where, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Excuse you, that is very much not your bed, sir. Where did you go? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Mr. Cartographer, Mr. Cartographer, right there, right there, right there. No, 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 no. No! No! No, 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 no. This is not how this works. Mr. Cartographer, sir. No. It's not for the farmer. Psst. Yes, yes, yes. I am aware that there is a lack of beds in this town. We will get them sorted out, but that's what we're trying to... Oh my gosh. Mr. Librarian, you can go to your bed. Go to your bed. Come on. Come on, my dude. Come on. Mr. Librarian, come on. Why is everybody, everybody in the six square meter Fletcher's house? My IRL face is a very frustrated face. Come on, guys. Out. Come on. Scooch. There's literally three blocks you guys are standing on. Leave this place. Come on. Oh, my gosh. This, why, why is this happening? You're not even the Fletcher, are you, in the bed? Are you? I think you, eh, I think you might be, actually. Otherwise, I, I'd break the bed. All right, guys, seriously, everybody out, everybody out. Leave, leave, leave. Why are they making so many green sparkles? All right, I'm breaking the bed. Everybody leave, come on. We're leaving, let's go. Let's gather around this bed now. Come on. This is this is the place to be now. Yep, this is your bed, sir. But it's supposed to be inside, but there are freeloaders inside. They're freeloading. This is not where... Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes. Go inside. Go inside. Go on. Go on. We're going to just trap us in here and farmer dude gets the bed. Farmer dude gets the bed. Sorry. You know, I did have three farmers in here at one point. Did it stay like that? Apparently not. Go away. Go away. Seriously, I do not want you here. Go. Shoot. Shoot. Go away. Why are you not sleeping? You have a bed. You have people in here who want your bed, and they're not sleeping in it because it's yours. Why? Why are you like this? You don't need to step on the fence to step off of this. Seriously, just go to the opening in the fence. Come on. No, guys, no. How? And now the chicken's going to walk out too. You know how long it took me to get this chicken in here? Come on, guys, out. Out. Come on. Go do your jobs. The chicken is le Okay, the chicken's gone. Alright, well these dudes seem to just not be moving anymore. So, we're gonna just push them into this house. It's like dealing with zombie piglins now. Think I'm gonna box you in a corner with your friend. So you guys just don't go anywhere. You're just there. You exist. Kind of. Come on. Mr. Cartographer, do you want a bed? I will get you a bed. Why? Exit the building, please. Come on. Time to leave. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Where did he go? Come on, dude. No. You don't need to stand on that. Why do you need to stand on that? Dude, do you want to go get a job? It comes with a bed and everything. All right, where is our fellow who has continuously been unemployed and picking up on other people's jobs? Is that you? That's probably you again, isn't it? Eh, probably. All right. Come on, sir. No. No, we are not going to the composters. All right. Can I interest you in a blast furnace? It's right over there. Driving me crazy, man. The blast furnace is right here. It's right there. Come on. 
Blast furnace. Dude, you put the you put the eyeglasses on once. Is it because it's up tall? I swear you guys can use things that are up tall. Like that's a thing. All right then, fine. So, what I want to do is I want to surround these fields here with leaves. The thing is that, well, farmers like jumping off of things and trampling their crop fields. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put slabs around the inside. Alrighty, now we've lined the farm, the field, with quartz, and we'll go ahead and add leaves around it. And eh, we won't disturb the melon, it's fine. Ah, uh, I know azalea leaves might have been better for this, but it's fine. It is high time to put all of our building materials away. I wanted to show you I rigged up a little bit more of a storage system down here. So we've got sand and mud related items mostly, our greenery, um, everything prismarine related and all our terracotta that we have currently anyways, our wood, and then our wood products. Alrighty, so the last thing we're gonna do today is put together a sugarcane farm because goodness knows I need it. I'm gonna build it right here behind our iron farm so that it's nice in our farming district area still. Okay, it is time to run this gauntlet so fast. Do 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 and uh, back out again. <laughs> okay. Whew. Anyways, I now have a sugarcane and bamboo farm. Um this is an iCraft design and it's really cool. It runs on Oh, well, let's see if I can get up here. So this system is running on daylight sensors, which means that there aren't a bunch of observers stacked above the pistons. So we have a lot of pistons running for a relatively cheap amount, and it's, as I understand it, relatively lossless, especially in the sugarcane department here. Yeah, so as you can probably hear, there is a minecart, a hopper minecart running underneath. There are two daylight sensors, one set on day mode and one on night mode, since I do AFK in the area. And, well, I have no idea how daylight sensors work exactly, but apparently they sense various stages through the day. I was under the impression that they just sense, like, you know, when it turns daylight and when it turns nighttime. But that apparently is not the case. I'll be learning about them in my dramatic redstone series soon enough, so do be sure to check that out. It's not insanely pretty, but I, I think it's not an eyesore either. It's relatively plain. I put some leaves around. I used lime grass in it, so it's very, very green. Um, and then just, you know, a few lanterns to light things up, light the area up anyways. Our farming area here in the savannah is really coming along nicely. I am super happy with all the work that went into this village today. Um, again, there are a couple of structures that we will add in our next episode, including an aqueduct. So I'm really excited about that. But it is time to finish this episode off. So it was great having you along for today's adventures. I hope you enjoyed them. And if you did, please do give the video a like. And if you're not subscribed already, do consider subscribing. I'll see you guys for the next episode. Bye.